This is our experience with Brittany Ferries on the Santander to Portsmouth line. If we can ever find our way to the ferry. Hi, this is me. I'm Ben. I'm Emily. Hello. And together we travel around in our converted Iveco van called Ivan. Hi, Ivan. Let's see what we've been up to this week. So getting lost and going around in circles many times, the best advice we can give is ignore your sat nav, Google Maps, and just follow the signs that show to the ferry. Talking of ferry, this is the Galcia. This is the ferry we caught back. They do have a couple of different options um, and the ships vary slightly, but they're all about the same experience. So it's about a 33 hour um, ferry ride. So you wanna grab everything you need. And things like your phone chargers, books, phones, anything that's going to entertain you for those 33 hours. Unlike Ben, who we managed to go up the stairs and realised he left his phone charger and phone in the van so we had to run back down to run back up again. Yeah, once at sea you aren't allowed back down to the vehicles so make sure you do have everything. The ferry company had to move our dates on a return trip so we managed to get an upgrade to a cabin of with our second chosen date which normally cost about a hundred pounds around that um, if you're not doing the cabin then you have to do a reserve seat again which is about 10 to 20 euro, uh, pounds each after struggling with the door as you can see we've got a full berth cabin we've got a toilet and shower so we brought our towels in with us to get refreshed This is the upper bar area. There's plenty of seats, plenty of window views, plenty of TVs and plenty of lighting. At the bar you can get like some alcoholic drinks and snacks. You're looking about maybe city prices. So not ridiculous what you think they might be, but they're all right. Plenty of areas to keep little ones entertained and plenty of areas to keep Emily entertained. It's a puzzle, Ben. Downstairs comprises of customer services, duty free, two of the restaurants and once again more and more seating. We won't give you a tour around the duty free. Anyone that's been on holiday before knows it's full of fags and booze. What more could you need? So after three months of sun, or thereabouts, we're just off the French, North French coast. We're going outside to see what the weather's like. It's not terrible, is it? It's, uh, oh. Well, it's raining. I cold yet, though. Yeah, it's mild raining. Oh yeah, can't you tell you're back in uh, British weather. Foggy and grim. One thing to be aware of is that this journey is notorious for rough and choppy seas. So seasickness is a thing. With your fitness on the boat. Under the one. Under the two. So, this is a quick scan of the tapas restaurant. We didn't eat here because with our tickets, we got a free, free course meal with ours, uh, which is in this restaurant, the main one. The food was of a really high standard, really tasty. We really appreciated this because on the way there we both got seasick and couldn't enjoy this. It's worth checking your tickets to see if you do get free meals. Like we missed out on the free breakfast as they do because of the time of year. We have had um, family that have used the same ferry and they didn't have anything included so it's always worth checking. Okay. 
53 hours later. And we have docked. Well, near enough, we're on our way down to the Ivan again to get ready to depart. I don't know what it is with this boat, but I've struggled with all the doors. summarise it is expensive to get to Spain this method but it is super convenient and we got there with no issues and for me it just it's all weather dependent good weather good sailing bad weather bleh. we would have never got you on a boat again if the second trip was like the first hell no thanks for watching hope this helps bye Bye.